when does real change happen? Stay tuned. Hey, this is Damon from NLP Gym. Neuro linguistic programming is the study and the technology of creating the life that you desire. And for the past several years, I've been studying NLP in order to create the life that I desire. And now, I want to help you create the life that you desire. So if that sounds good, please click subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can get these videos on a regular basis. Richard Bandler, one of the co-founders of NLP, once said at a training that I was at that change happens, real change happens, when you become so fed up with the way that things are or you're so unsatisfied with the way something is that you finally decide to take action, decisive action that changes everything. Just this morning, this actually happened to me and it's happened to me several times. And I'll talk a little bit more in this video later about how to not let it get so bad, like not let it get to the point where you have to get fed up in order to make change. What happened to me this morning was that I wasn't getting answers from someone who has been working for me and he wanted to keep working for me and I was really considering do I stay on with this person because I've been training him or do I take on a, an actual marketing firm and I was going back and forth on this and I also had these plans of what I thought the rest of the year would go like or I planned out the different launches I was doing, the different projects that I would get involved in up until the wrap up at the end of the year. The more I started thinking about this, the more I was realizing this is taking much longer than what I thought. And I started to think I could probably speed this up. So it just hit me, like I'm fed up with this. I'm actually impatient. And impatience can be a really good thing when you apply impatience to something that you can change. And that's part of what getting fed up is about. And when I got fed up enough, I thought, you know what? I can let this person go. I can hire this other firm, test them out on another on a new launch coming up, and I can take all the plans that I had into the end of the year, all these nice, nicely neat, scheduled out plans, and just bring them all together. Just make accelerate everything, make it all happen faster, and that way I can do a lot more things and do a lot more projects and speed my business up. It was such a relief to finally get to that threshold and make a new decision, take a new action. The times or the situations or the circumstances in which you don't wanna be impatient is when it comes to things that you can't change. When it comes to something you can't change, then you wanna bring in acceptance, not impatience. If you're impatient about something that can't change, like the weather, you're only gonna frustrate yourself, you're only gonna get angry and bitter and it's not gonna serve you. However, if it's a situation where you do have control or you can make changes, even though you might not feel like you can at first, that impatience can actually drive you and push you to make changes. Now, I'm not saying be impatient to the point of being hasty and making stupid decisions just because you're frustrated. It's really about taking the time to look at with your situation and find out where that impatience is coming from. For me, that impatience was coming from, I knew that things could be better. I knew that I could make this work faster. And that's the kind of impatience that you can use in order to make a situation move faster, get what you want faster, and in this situation, it was clearly that way. There was no reason for me to continue going down the route of my specific plans that I had made. Now that I was sitting with these plans, there was I could easily just say, okay, well, I can do everything a lot faster because I've got the time, I've got the energy, I'm not being bogged down by anything else. I might as well take off on it now and start moving faster and then take the weak link, the person who was working for me, who was taking a long time to get back to me, who wasn't doing the work that he was supposed to be doing, just let him go move on and take on someone else who can help me move at the speed that I want to move at. So impatience is good when it's a situation that you can change. And think about the situations where you think that you can't change it or you have no control over it. Chances are, a lot of them you do have control over. And imagine getting impatient in those situations and think to yourself, can I change this? Am I relying too much on other people? Or am I too dependent on outside circumstances when I could depend more on myself and make those changes myself and move the situation faster? Can I work around the obstacles? Can I work around the things that I can't change? Have you ever stayed in a bad situation for too long? Too many of us have done this. And 
Finally, we get to a point where we get fed up and we do something about it and we realize we could have done something about it a lot sooner and we should have done something a lot sooner because either we wasted time or we wasted money or we wasted energy being frustrated. So take notice, are, you, are, there, are there any areas of your life where it's a bad situation and you've been sitting in it for too long because you're waiting for something to change? You're hoping that something changes. I did a video on hope. I'll link it to this video so you can see more about what I'm talking about with hope and waiting. Hope in some cases can be helpful, but in most cases if you've got a roof over your head, if you've got food in your stomach, if you've got your if you've got your basic necessities, hope is probably not doing you any good. Hope is where Hope is the state someone is in when they're in a bad situation for too long. They're hoping things will change rather than taking action and changing them themselves. So let hope go, stop depending, stop waiting, and change that bad situation that you've been in too long by taking action, any action, and get out of there. Again, don't do this hastily, don't do this out of frustration or fear or anger. Those emotions might come up when you realize that you've been in a bad situation for too long. Let them come up. I always recommend that you feel your feelings and then say to yourself, okay, if I was where I wanted to be, what would I be feeling like? And then make a decision based on that, based on the feeling of what you want to have rather than a feeling of frustration or lack or anger. So here's my challenge to you. Look at all of the areas of your life. And that doesn't mean you have to narrow it down to small, small areas. Take three major life areas, your three major life areas, maybe your relationship, your career, something, maybe something else that's personal to you, and ask yourself, are you in a bad situation? Are you in a situation that's not fulfilling you? Are you uncomfortable in that situation? Even if it's a little bit, sometimes we, we try to make ourselves feel very comfortable in a situation that if we really look at it, we're not comfortable, we're not okay with it, but we just feel like, oh, that's life, so we, we just deal with it. Take those areas of your life and ask yourself, what would it be like to be really fed up? And at the point, at that threshold of changing it all, even if you have to walk away from something, even if you have to confront somebody, and just think about that. What would it be like to be fed up? Because a lot of times we wait too long and we wait to that point that we're absolutely fed up and frustrated and again you're you could be losing time you could be losing money you could be losing you could be wasting energy on this just think about those situations and, and ask yourself when would i have to be absolutely fed up in this situation how long will it have to go on for before i finally do something and then recognize that that time is probably now that time to take an action to do something different to walk away or to start something new it's probably right now because it's probably not going to get better on its own so ask yourself what is being fed up in this situation how long is too long how much is too much and then change it do it now before you get so fed up that you're angry and frustrated and bitter and possibly even hurt do it now don't wait till it's till it's festering and that you're 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 angry and you're you're maybe lashing out at people change it now think about an area of your life where you're totally fed up and you feel like you have no control over the situation and comment below i will respond to your comment check out my website nlp-gym.com there i have some free nlp training and some free hypnotic inductions that you can download right from the website and get started right away the hypnotic inductions are about self-esteem and confidence. Just download it to your phone, your iPad, or your computer and let my voice take you to higher levels of confidence and self-esteem. If you like this video, please click like right down here. And if you haven't already, like I mentioned, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Take care.